Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 88 is the last problem in that uh, practice test problem set um, from the college board here. So this is going to be our last one. So, uh, you know, we've done a lot of work here, but uh, I think we're going to finish off strong. It says, which of the following is equivalent to this expression? And so I think the easiest way to do this um, is to think about the factors that we have um, and then just kind of factor it out. So um, actually, you know what? I take that back. Instead of factoring it out, I think what we do here is we just do a little distributive property and see which one's equal. So we're going to multiply this outside term uh, by each thing on the inside. So if I multiply that negative 3y uh, by 4x squared, I'm going to get negative 12x squared y. So we're looking good so far. Um, we do have the negative 12x squared y right here. And then we've got negative 3y plus 2x is going to be negative 6xy. So we are, is the answer going to be a here? Oh, wow, that'd be great. Um, that'd be a good way to end this off, right, this, this video series. So negative 3y times negative 1 is going to be positive 3y. So we get our answer right off the bat. Okay, we don't even need to check the rest of them. Um, but just, you know, if you want to double check, you can. Uh, but b would simplify to negative 12x squared y um, plus, because you've got a negative times a negative, plus 6xy, which is not what we want. We want the negative 6y. And then plus 3y. So we can say, up. Oh, it's not going to be b. I mean, we already know what the answer is, right? We already know it's going to be a. Um, but we just want to double check here. And during the test, I wouldn't even bother double checking until, you know, you finish the test. If you have time, go back. But since this is a time test, you know, once you find your answer, just bubble it and move on. Um, so here we've got negative 12x squared y. So we've still got that term okay. And then we've got negative 6xy, so that's looking good. But then we have negative 3y, which is not what the original problem was. So c is not going to work. Uh, hopefully you can see that D and E are definitely not going to work. They don't even have enough terms here. So negative 12x squared y, uh, what would that be? Minus 6xy. So yeah, that's missing like that last term that's going to give us the 3y. And then this last one we can kind of see is not going to work either. So we get 12x squared y right off the bat. It's not right. And then uh, plus 6xy. So neither D or E work. The only one here that's going to work is A. And so that's going to be uh, our solution to number 88. Uh, so that's it. We've gone through all the problems now. Um, I hope you enjoy these videos and kind of got something out of them. Hope, hopefully this helps you to pass the CLEP test. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.